Hello and welcome to Hakista TV and this video is all about signal jamming. Now, necessary disclaimer, for many countries like the US and members of the European Union, this is considered illegal. Here in the Philippines, however, it is considered illegal only if you are going to jam phone signal frequency. And I will be leaving some links down below for you to read about it. Now, with that out of the way, I will be demonstrating to you how it is done here on Hack RF, and we will be observing it using the Flipper Zero. Okay, now the way it works is that the jammer will be sending a signal or signal noise to the frequency, making it impossible for the devices to use the said frequency. Okay, now Hack RF1 under tools with the Porta Pack, by the way has this signal generator now we knew we know that this doorbell is under 433.92 frequency and the only thing that we have to do we can change what type of signal we will be doing and we'll just send noise and we'll just gonna ump it out like this Okay, so hopefully if we did everything correctly, when we click start, okay, the doorbell isn't working anymore. And let's try to observe it on flipper 0 under sub gigahertz and read raw. And we'll try to record it also. Okay, as you can see, that is that is how the signal is jamming the frequency and how strong the signal is being sent. Okay, let's just wait for a few more seconds so that we will have a very nice sample recorded here on Flipper Zero. Now, you need to stop the jamming signal first and before you stop here on Flipper Zero so that you can record it successfully okay so let's stop the signal okay and let's stop the flipper zero and congratulations you now have a copy of a signal jammer frequency here on flipper zero then let's just save it now we will gonna try the same process using the flipper zero and observing it here on hack rf1 and you will be surprised of the result let's go to capture okay and let's go to the rate around around 16k and as you can see there should be a red sign here okay so that is the signal one more time Okay, now let's see if Flipper Zero is powerful enough to jam this frequency. Let's click send. Okay, Flipper Zero is sending. And as you can see, Flipper Zero isn't powerful enough to make the whole screen red. There you can see some bits and pieces and some other parts. But... If you try to send a signal to the device, it still overpowers what Flipper Zero is sending to the frequency. Now, to conclude on that one, we would know that, okay, so as you can see, if, by the way, if you put Flipper Zero closer, it will receive the signal, um, yep, oh, it, it stopped. So if you put Flipper Zero closer, or maybe closer to the device or the doorbell, or here, then maybe you can jam the signal. But if Flipper Zero is just here, you cannot overpower. Flipper Zero cannot overpower the frequency range. Now, if you want to try this thing in public, I would advise you to read up on laws 
regarding this on the country that you are residing just to be safe so that you don't get into any sort of trouble and if you have some questions just put it down on the comments below and i will try to answer them and if you enjoy this video please watch my other videos here on hakista tv till next time my fellow hakista